morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. It is market week. I have a market on Sunday. And so I'm going to take you along kind of a little bit throughout the week as I kind of prep for it. And then I'm going to take you on Sunday, fingers crossed, if all goes well, and just kind of share with you how the market went, how, you know, how much I made, everything like that. So yeah, it is Monday morning. My hair is still wet from getting out of the shower. I don't have any makeup on and I think today's gonna be a no makeup day. So bear with me with that, literally bear. Yeah, I do have some errands to run today. I was gonna do it kind of now-ish, but I kind of got, but I got a little bit focused on, um, I got kind of focused on printing out like my sign and QR codes for my YouTube channel and Venmo and stuff like that. So yeah, so I had spent some time with that. And so now it is getting close to it was nap time. So I don't think I'm gonna push any errands right now. We'll wait till after after she wakes up. I need to go to Walmart, the dollar store. I need to do some returns for Amazon. At some point, I do wanna to go to Michael's to get some yarn, of course, but I think that might be later on in the week. I started writing down things that I need to make this week that I'll feel kind of good and confident with everything that I have. I've been focusing a lot more on like tops and bandanas and scrunchies. So I think like towards the end of the week, I'm gonna make a few more plushies. I have a good amount of octopus and chickens, but I think I'm gonna make some duck. I think that would be really cute. I had made a couple um, that I have shown in a last video. So I think I'm gonna try to make some more of those. And that is kind of what's going on in my mind. I do feel like, I'm not stressed. Like I feel like I have enough product now, like inventory to sell, but I kind of feel like well, what if everyone wants a bandana and then I won't have enough? Or what if everyone wants a duck and I don't have enough? So that's kind of where my mind is and I know that's very unrealistic. I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure. I do have a few things like bandanas, tops, scrunchies I wanna make. And then, um, yeah, towards the end of the week, if I have time, then I'm gonna do the duck idea. So that's just kind of where I'm at. Yeah, today, or this week really just kind of me going to prep. I need to get some frames to put the little signs um, in and um, I do need some more yarn to make a couple more tops and then maybe some yarn for bandanas as well. Anyways, that's kind of where I'm at, where my mind is going for this week. I am excited for this week. I think it will be a good week of prepping for this market and I'm really excited about it. I do feel like, I do feel like deep down I have more than enough product, but I'd rather make too much than not enough. And then if I do any other markets, then I'll have enough for that as well. So I'm just gonna make what I can this week. But for now, I'm going to go get myself another cup of coffee and play with Ava for a few minutes, read some books, and then put her down for her nap for the day. And then while she's napping, I will probably do a top. I think I'll make a top while she's napping. This morning, I did make a bandana, so I feel good that I made that and then I'll make a top probably run some errands after lunch and then go from there so hello welcome to my market vlog I am so excited so fingers crossed it goes well honestly so my goal is just to make back what I paid for the table I paid $50 so I'm thinking if I make $50 that's great and then if I make a hundred then I made a profit. So um, in theory, you know, I haven't put in the cost of all the materials that I made. But anyways, it's just kind of what I'm thinking. And this is a long introduction, but I am so excited to take you along this week and just kind of show you everything that I am kind of doing last a minute and then take you along on the actual market day. I'm so excited. Okay, so it is now Tuesday morning. It's around, it's close to 11 and Abe ended up taking a really short nap, like less than an hour. So we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A for lunch. We're gonna go to the library, just have a fun little afternoon and then hopefully she'll take another nap. She's she's doing one nap, but if she's extra sleepy or she takes short naps, then I try to give her a chance to take two. So we'll see if she actually does end up sleeping. I know this is kind of a bad angle. You're on the kitchen counter. So, so far I, this morning made one duck and five scrunchies and I made two more of these last night. So I actually think, I actually know I haven't shown you these. So I decided to add in some ducks. So yesterday we did a whole bunch of errands and I ended up getting some more yarn. So I went to Hobby Lobby and got some yellow plush yarn. So yeah, I have three ducks made. I think I have enough yarn to make nine. So I'm feeling really good with the amount of stuff that I have. Like I feel like I have way more than enough, but I definitely want to have, I'd rather have too much than not enough. So yeah, so the rest of this week, I'm going to make a few more ducks and then I want to make a couple more tops, like maybe two max, like if that, and then maybe a few more scrunchies and then bandanas and that's it. Yeah, that's kind of the plan for this week. I definitely
definitely feel really good about everything that I have been making. And so um, I'm really excited. But I just kind of want to do a little bit of a check-in each day of what I am making. But yeah, so we're going to go to Chick-fil-A for lunch. And then we are going to go to the library. And then maybe Ava will take a nap. And then I will um, hopefully crochet a bandana. And then like I'm feeling really good now with everything that I have made. I'm feeling really good. So um, that is Tuesday. Okay, so it's now Thursday. And that just means there are three more days to the market and I'm really excited and I am not stressed at all as far as like feeling like I need more products. I do have like a few things that I want to make between now and then so let's talk about those. So I started making turtles and I am like obsessed. I'm having so much fun. The pattern is Fred the Turtle. I'm pretty sure it's a free pattern from Pinterest that I saw on Pinterest and I I made a lot. <laughs> well I think I made five and I made them like Big. so let me show you those and then I'm also going to make some small ones so um, I have prepped so far the tails or the legs and the head for a smaller version so let me show you the big ones so this is where I just have been storing everything um, getting ready for the market our poor dining room table I keep cleaning it off and then it keeps getting messy again and you know what it's just it's gonna be like that for this weekend. So you can kind of see the turtles in there. So, and this one here, I have all of my tops. So I feel pretty good about the amount of tops that I have just because I don't know if they're going to sell or not. Here I have all of my kind of like things for the display. So like for my scrunchies, this uh, this is for, these are the hooks for the scrunchies. I got like chalkboard markers just because I did get chalk signs for prices. So anyways, so in here I have all of my animals. So these are my turtles that I have. I have five turtles. So I've got one down there, one here, and then these here as well. So they are pretty big turtles, as you can kind of tell. They're they're pretty big. So um, this one ended up being kind of a smaller version. So I have that one. And then now I'm going to make some even smaller ones. So this bin is definitely getting full. So that makes me very happy. It's market day. I am so excited. I'm kind of like rushing to get myself and Ava ready. And she's down there. It's St. Patty's Day. I don't have anything green. So I did make a green bandana that I'm going to wear <laughs> today. Oh, I got some fuzz. So I'm excited. Uh, everything is loaded up in the car. My husband did that last night and this morning. And wish me luck fingers crossed it's kind of chilly this morning but it's gonna warm up and yeah I'm excited I uh I have no idea what today is going to be like but whether I make one sale or a hundred like I'm gonna be happy I just my goal today is just to make what I paid for the table like that's my goal so if I do that I will be able to leave the market happy so I'm gonna do my best to take you along with me I'm bringing my iPad to kind of like hopefully set up and take some videos as well but we'll just kind of see how the day goes I have no idea like last week there were like 20 vendors and then this week there's like over 40 so I think it's gonna be a, a, a good amount so yeah we'll see we'll see how the day goes but I am excited um, I need to get she got on my tub of yarn that's been like kind of locked away like everything's been stacked on it so all week she's been trying to get into it so today she did yeah, I'm excited. Wish me luck. Okay, this is with the bandana on. I also put a sweatshirt on. I don't know how I think, how I want to wear this bandana. I don't know if I want my hair down or up. Which actually, speaking of, I should bring a um, hair, hair tie. So let me go get that. This one woke up so early this morning. So she's already sleepy. So the plan is that my husband and Ava are going to come with us. My husband's going to help me set up everything. And then he's going to take her home, give her nap, lunch, all that stuff. And then come back. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're in the car now. My husband just ran in to get us some coffee. So I'm excited. Definitely much needed. And then we're going to head there and set up. It is a first. Oh, the car just off. It is a kind of like first come for serve type of thing for your spot. So I'm hoping we'll get a good spot. But either way, I'm really excited. And Eva's back there. <laughs> She's back there just chilling. So I'm. I'm got a little nervous as we're getting closer like we're just like down the street from where we need to go and 
Sorry, I kind of nervous. I know that's like an excited nerves. And so uh, my husband was like, you're just selling your stuff at a craft show. Like, it's fine. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm excited. I think it will be fun either way. So... <laughs> Okay, I look kind of crazy right now. We have the AC going, so it is very uh, loud, hopefully. But we just finished my husband bringing the tent in, and once I kind of like get everything situated, I will sit down and just kind of say everything that happened. But overall, it was a success, and I'm very excited and have a lot of visions and ideas of what to do for the next market. All right, everyone, so it is later in the day. Ava is over here eating dinner, which you can kind of see her foot. But I just wanted to kind of close off this whole video, just kind of let you know everything, a recap of the day. So I ended up not filming um, what I kind of was expecting. I was definitely a little nervous too, and it was a very quiet market. I think at some point they did have some music, but it's just very quiet, and I feel like people would have heard me talking to myself, and that was just kind of, uh, uh, maybe next to the market, but. So everyone was saying that the market was slow today. I did feel it. However, I am very pleased with the outcome. So I'll just tell you right now. Okay, so I paid $50 for the table and I ended up making $207. And I feel happy with that. I feel um, surprised because the first couple of hours, I think I had like one sale and there was also another crochet girl a few booths down. So I don't know if that affected that or not. I don't think so. I didn't actually go check out her stall. I probably should have. Um, I know she had some like dragon plushies or something or dinosaurs or something that I didn't have. But anyways, all in all, I feel pretty um, pleased with the sales that I did get. Uh, things that sold the most for me were my chickens. I had one chicken left and it was a white one and no one wanted the white one. They all wanted like a speckled one or the gray one. So I had one white chicken left and then I did sell some ducks, some scrunchies and some turtles. And that's pretty much it. I did not sell a bandana and I had brought some of my crochet tops and I did not sell any of those either. So um, I had a lot of people interested in my jumbo turtle. I, I realized I kind of didn't um, talk about it, but I made a big, big jumbo turtle the other day and I will insert um, hopefully a little clip of me kind of showing off the turtle after I made it. So yeah, I had made that and a lot of people interested. I priced it at 75, which I mean, maybe it's a little bit low. I'm not entirely sure, um, but it was definitely high for this market. I had a few people wanting to, but then they kind of decided not, and that's okay with me. I wasn't expecting anyone to. I'm still gonna bring it to the next market. But all in all, I feel very pleased with what I did sell. I feel like it was a very successful market in my books. I went in with zero expectations other than wanting to make back what I paid for the table, and I did that. And so after that, I was happy. So no matter how much I made, it was happy. I was happy. So I did have a great deal. Most of my sales were actually in cash. And so that actually worked out well. Uh, my husband came in the morning to help me set up. He took Ava back for a nap and lunch. And then he came back and just, uh, they hung out for a while. I actually had a friend come. They lived um, just up the hill from where the market was. So they came down and hung out with us for a while. Um, they have a little baby boy who's just the cutest. So um, yeah, that was fun for them to come. So all in all, it was a very fun, successful market in my books and I kind of got bit by the market bug. So now I wanna do another one. And I still have quite a bit of inventory left. I, I think I sold one octopus actually. Well, I know I sold one octopus. They, I just, no one wanted to buy them. I don't know if the girl down was selling them either, but I didn't see anyone walking by with them. I just saw them walking by with the dinosaurs that she made. So 
I don't know, no one wanted to buy an octopus. So I, I will still try at the next market. I don't know if that's just something here that isn't going to sell. I don't know. So that is curious to me. So next market, I need to have more chickens, more ducks, and continue with the turtles. My turtles, I did put at 25 because they are big turtles, like bigger turtles, and they do take longer. And I'm wondering if 25 was too much, if maybe it should be at 20, but I did have people buy them at 25. So um, I think I'm gonna keep them at 25 for now and then just kind of go from there. But I definitely had a lot of interest in the turtles. So those went well. So next time I'm gonna make more turtles. But this particular market, it's it's happening again in three weeks. I don't know if I'll be able to do it just because um, that is my husband and I's anniversary weekend. Our anniversary is the eighth. Um, so we'll be celebrating six years of marriage. And so I don't know if we're gonna be doing something that weekend or not. We usually go away, but my husband's job is very busy right now. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get away. So I feel like I'm just like talking like hundred miles an hour. So yeah, so there is another one in three weeks. If I'm not able to do that one, there is one at the end of April with the same market, um, the last one of the season. So I will probably do that one as well. And then probably scout around. I did apply for another like Mother's Day one. So we'll see if that gets approved for May. But so other than that, yeah, I don't know what other markets that I will be doing, but I'll definitely keep you updated. So I just initially, I because I didn't make any sales for like the first hour or two, I was getting a little bit discouraged. And I think that was just kind of par for the course. This poor lady to my left, I think she had one sale the whole day. And then the lady to my right had fresh baked bread and she sold out like so quickly. So it's just kind of one of those things where it's like, you don't you don't know like what's gonna happen. And so I think going in with zero expectations was a good thing for me just so I didn't feel like I was going to make a certain amount of money. And because every market is different, then um, you just have to go in knowing like you just, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know the people that are gonna be there, if it's gonna be busy, not busy, that sort of thing. So overall, I'm very happy with my market. Thank you so much for coming along with me, spending my market day slash prep week with me. I definitely got a lot of ideas for what I need to make for next markets, what I wanna do, how I wanna set up my table. My table is very small. I know I mentioned this in the past. So I am gonna get a bigger table for the next market. And that way I can kind of spread out my stuff. I probably, might not even bring the crochet tops. Maybe I will, maybe I'll bring a couple, um, just because they are very kind of niche and specific. And I did get a lot of interest in them, but uh, they just weren't selling for me. I didn't sell any of them. So yeah, I am excited for future markets whenever they will be. And then I know going into summer here in Phoenix, we don't have markets, maybe some indoor markets I can look into. Yeah, maybe I'll look into some indoor mar markets. That could be fun, but all in all, I'm very pleased. I found it was a successful market and I'm excited for any future ones. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.